The Korean Zombie is back against Dan Ige, headlining a fight night on June 19th. Yes, TKZ will take on 50K in the headliner. It's an interesting matchup for a lot of reasons, especially when you look at where Korean Zombie was prior to his loss to Ortega and the fact that Ige has rebounded in a big way since his fight with uh, Cater, but still, it's just a odd pairing in my opinion. I don't know. Drake, how do you feel about this? Yeah, it is odd. Uh, definitely, it's one that, yeah, I feel like I would say it a lot, but I didn't see it coming, you know, and I expect in some of these matchups lately, but... I like it, and when you think about it, I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, Chan Sung Jung, Korean Zombie, did say that he kind of wanted a lower guy and I think maybe more time. Kind of felt like he didn't straight up say step back, but something lesser than kind of this constant top, the pressure of being floating around the top sort of after this Brian Ortega loss. So taking on Danny Ige now, who is that just plain and simply not to discredit him whatsoever he is very very talented as we saw in his last fight kind of reminded us after the great calvin cater fight that he did have um despite you know clearly losing that one uh yeah i like this fight i don't think i necessarily like it as the main event though and i get it chan sung jung is definitely a main event quality fighter he's been in many he's delivered many a time but he generally delivers in the fashion where and I don't, I don't know. I say feel this way sometimes about when you put finishers or you put together a fight as main event that maybe doesn't need it because it probably won't go five rounds. Then maybe put something also very, very good up there, but maybe more potential to be that all out bang out war for a longer amount of time. Cause both these guys, I believe can finish each other within three rounds. And that would probably be my prediction. I, I have to think about it a lot more. Um, no matter who it is that gets the win, I think it could very well be a very fast and ferocious fight that won't need those additional two rounds. So I don't know how I feel about it in that regard, but I do like the fight overall, and um, I think it's it's very big for Danny Gay, that's for sure. Yeah, it's definitely much more of a you know high risk, low reward situation when you look at Korean Zombie, right? I mean. As you mentioned, he he didn't outright say he wanted to step back, but it kind of makes sense for him to do this. Ige is number eight. Um, but I, if Korean Zombie t- gets the win here, it's going to be semi-expected, right? It doesn't really do too much for him in terms of moving him back into title contention or on the cusp of title contention. Whereas for Ige, this is a massive opportunity. I mean, the Cater fight was a big step up for him and you know didn't go his way. And now, just you know, a couple fights later, he's getting another opportunity at a a top five guy. That if he's able to capitalize on it, he he can you know throw himself right into the title picture. So, I I do see you know, I I see why it was made. I don't know that it is the best matchup. I would have liked to see uh, Korean Zombie you know up against somebody that you know. Like a Josh Emmett, for example, who's who's just come off of you know, some great fights, uh, or or you know he, you could even run back the year fight just because of how fun that was. Although that wouldn't really be a step back. Yeah, I mean <laughs> you know, well maybe I, maybe I selfishly want to see that, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's an interesting matchup as you, as you mentioned too. In terms of a main event, it feels feels like it's main event because. Korean zombie is there, yeah. right? Like, and it's one of those things where I could easily see this in a three round fight and be fine with it. I get why they're doing it in a main event because they have so many cards to fill and that's a name you can put in the main event and know it's going to at least get some attention. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, no matter who wins and we'll do a prediction video down the road here as we get closer, I am with you that I don't necessarily see it going to decision. It could, it's possible, but I, I think probably one guy gets finished. Although Ige does have quite the chit. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely does. And, um, you know, it's it's interesting when you look at just kind of the whole, the whole atmosphere, I guess, of this fight just in its creation. It does feel a little bit like a the ultimate favor for Korean Zombie. Like, still a main event, still a lower-ranked guy, you know, giving him a good amount of time, a breather before getting back in there, all these things. And we don't know where this 
this card will be presumably is probably going to be somewhere in America. And, you know, he has said that that takes a lot out of his pocket, which is just the case for international fighters in general. So he's just been very vocal about the difficulties he's kind of had with the overall thing that is fighting, I guess, <laughs> to put it that way, and having an MMA career and being in that kind of position. So this feels like as much of a favor as they possibly could do him, do for him. And it is one for Ige in that sense, too, that he's getting to fight a guy up this high after just rebounding with one win uh, after the Calvin Cater fight. And it was a very phenomenal win over an unranked Gavin Tucker. But in 22 seconds, I was counting him out in that one, which, you know, proved me wrong. And surely a lot of other people, I, he might have even been the underdog. I do not recall. Maybe you remember, Pat, but, you know, the odds I don't think, were... I don't think he was the underdog. Okay. But it, they were closer than you would yeah. expect, that's for sure. Yeah, because there was a lot of hype on Gavin Tucker. And he's still very good, but that just shows, reminds you how good Dan Ige is as well. Um... So, yeah, it's, uh, I, I would have liked to see if we were going to do a Korean Zombie main event next following the Ortega one. And in that perfect, purest, logical, things make sense world, I think it would be Jung versus Zabit is the fight. But another one of those guys where, where are you, man? Where's Waldo? You know, where's the guy? That's the fight. That's the fight to make, I think, in terms of looking at things and where people are and should be whatnot but i will take this one it is it's good enough for me especially from a matchup standpoint but um i, I don't know it doesn't excite me as much as a lot of other announcements and possibilities right now in this current time yeah i mean that's that's the thing is it it just feels it not as exciting as a korean zombie fight usually is and you know, that's not a knock on Ige. That's just kind of a... It's such a weird matchup, I guess, if you look at... Well, also his last performance, where. though. The Ortega right. loss. Rough one. Yeah, right. And then that was certainly rough, but it's one of those things where... I, I, and I guess why it feels weird to me is because you had, you know, Korean Zombie on this run where it looked like for sure he was going to get a title shot. And then he loses to, you know, one of the best at featherweight in you know it was a rough loss for him there's no denying that but you know he gets outclassed there but this feels like the the type of fight where that fighter who was you know on a crazy knockout streak looked phenomenal has a rough loss you'd figure you'd give somebody like Zabit or somebody who's trying to then throw themselves into title contention after the Ortega Volkanovsky fight and with Ige here even if Ige pulls this off I don't necessarily that he gets a title shot out of this, and I know Zombie won't either. So it, that's where I get a little bit hung up, is you had a guy who was right on the cusp of getting a shot of the belt. He loses in, in a bad way, but, I mean, he wasn't, like, flatline KO'd or right. anything still. And then he, rather than have him at least fight somebody that's right on the edge who could, you know, leapfrog with a win over Zombie into a title shot you're you're up against Ige, who it's it just, I don't know. It's just weird to me. It... Yeah, no, that's totally fair. And <laughs> that's kind of the thing about it, it feeling a little bit out of the blue, like seeing it yesterday. And I think just being lumped into what they were main event announcements, aside from Wonder Boy and Gilbert, which, you know, a very big fight as well and very exciting, but uh, on, a, on a big card too, so... Um, it, yeah, it feels like the one that stands out for the wrong reason. Like, oh, okay, that's that's the main that's the main event. Okay, I guess, I guess, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Which, it yeah, it's probably rude of us, and it'll probably deliver because <laughs> Chan Sung Jung is always awesome. And if this is exactly what he needed to kind of, I don't want to say rejuvenate, but you know, uh, I don't know, get 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 back in the rhythm after that loss and. Just, just prepare as best as he can and properly. Just, yeah, I guess get back in the rhythm, sort of. This is the fight that maybe he will do that in, and that's why it is happening. Like I said, more of a favor for him, I think, than Ige, all things considered. But it has benefits to it for both of them, and will surely deliver. So, you know, can't be too mad. Yeah, no, I mean, it's hard. Again, on paper, stylistically, this should be a banger of a fight for as long as it lasts, so... Maybe that's all they want and all they need. Yeah. So let us know in the comments, you know, if you like this matchup, if you agree with me and Drake that it seems a little weird, or if you think it's the right fight to make, 
who would you rather see in a matchup if it's not this one if it is this one tout it out let us know hey no you guys are way off we love this we'd love to hear your opinion on this one make sure you hit the like button subscribe bell notification and yeah we'll see you on june 19th mostly because we've just you know kind of talked bad about it it's probably going to be fight of the year so you're welcome <laughs> that's how it works <laughs>